Hello, I'm Robert with Robert Monroe Website Design and Development and BeaverRocket.com. In this tutorial, I'll be going over creating this gorgeous, sticky, and shrinking header in Dynamic. So we'll be adding some CSS, and I'll break this down for you. We'll also add some JavaScript. This JavaScript will give the header the necessary CSS classes to shrink down in size. And we'll be adding in three custom hook boxes. Two of the hook boxes are used to create a div around the header area. And this div is used to contain the header for this sticky header animation. The div that contains the header is necessary if you have a nav bar under the header, for example, like this. The nav bar underneath will also be included in the animation. In addition to the two hook boxes that contain the header, we also have a third hook box that is called sticky-header-jump-fix. And what this is, it is a div that is there to make up the space that we lose underneath the content. And you can see how it's jumping there. Look at the picture of the car. As soon as it kicks in, bam, it jumps up. See that? So I have some CSS that makes up for the lost space underneath the content when the sticky header is engaged. So I'll reactivate the hook box. Refresh the page. The web page is scrolling beautifully and there isn't any jumping at all. The key to it is that whatever the height of your header is here, plus if you're using a nav bar underneath, you have to account for its height as well. And I can see that the height of this is 50.4 pixels. And the header here is 170 pixels. So altogether, I set the height here in the part of the CSS that controls that to match it. And in this case, it's 220.4 pixels. But if I go in and by setting the header right menu here to be used as the responsive menu, I'll save it. I'll go back and refresh it. So I've removed the nav bar underneath the header. And I know that the header rendered at 170 pixels. So now I'll go in and adjust it right here. I'll change it to 170 pixels. And now I've changed the CSS to match the height of the header without the nav bar underneath it. There you go, perfect scrolling. So once again, let's go over our three hook boxes. These two hook boxes are used to create a div containing the header. The ID name for the div is mast head for master header. I gave it the name master dash header dash top. It's at Genesis before and the other one is master dash header dash bottom and it's at Genesis after header and it's the closing and it's the closing markup for the div containing the header. And again we have our sticky header jump fix which is at Genesis before loop. So let's go over some of the CSS used in the project. So I'll activate the front end CSS builder. Refresh. So let's take a look at our code. Let me pop it out. So to start off with here, we have the height of the header. So if I change this here, you notice the height of the header change there too set it back so we aren't controlling that where we normally would here header minimum height I set that to zero if you have this set to something higher than what the header is going to be when it shrinks down 
this setting here will prevent it from shrinking. And this is controlling the padding for the tidal area here. I can control that there, but I want it nice and centered, so I'll set that back. This CSS sets the header to a fixed position when it's shrunk. And this is the height of the header when it is shrunk. So I can control that here. You see the header got taller there. Let me put it back. And this is the font size of your title when the header is shrunk down. So I can control that here as well. And these are the easing settings for the CSS transitions. And here we have the controls for the site description here underneath. You notice that that also gets small underneath the title and I control that here. So next I have controls for the header image and it's all set up to work perfectly fine and let me show you that now. So in the Genesis theme settings I'll switch over to a image logo, save my settings, refresh and here's our image here and it's also shrinking beautifully. We can also set how far you have to scroll down before the sticky header engages and that is here in the JavaScript and that's this setting right here. Currently it's set to engage the sticky header at 220 pixels so that means when I scroll down 220 pixels that's when the header drops down. So it depends on the size of your header and your personal taste. So looking at the rest of our CSS, we have other CSS that controls other aspects of the dynamic shrinking header. And I've commented the CSS, so it's pretty straightforward and, and self-explanatory. This part here controls the actual drop-down animation. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I'll have a link in the description of this video for the code used in this tutorial. I'm Robert with Robert Monroe Website Design and Development and BeaverRocket.com. Thank you for watching.